<clears throat> so it's been a little while since I made a video. Um, it's been a little while, a couple weeks probably. I'll put something out, but I never actually made one. But right now I'm going to make one of save zucchini seeds. This this zucchini I saved, let grow like this for a reason. Because it was, the plant this was the one that was the best producing plant that we've ever grown. So you always want to take your best ones and, and save seeds from it. So basically, all I do, and I don't always save seeds because a lot of times it's truly a waste of time. Um, just cut the ends off and splice it in half. I don't know if my knife's sharp enough, but. Oh, yeah, it's cutting pretty easy. This is a big zucchini. I have no idea how much it weighs. But it's pretty good size. This will be chicken feed here as soon as I'm done. Except the seeds. So there you got all the seeds in there. All the seeds. So now what I'll do. Is. Um, I'm in the greenhouse. But I forgot to grab me a spoon. But that's alright. I got fingers. Not that big a deal. I'll just scoop all that out. Like I say, this zucchini plant did amazing this year. Totally amazing. Very shocking to me how good it did. No, I'm sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. But you get the gist. So I scooped it out. It's pretty deep, as you can see. And I got all that guts out of that half. And I'll try to scrape this in the other way so you can see it. Um, it's backwards, Timmy. Works backwards. Let me get on this side. Maybe it'll help you. So just stick your fingers in there and scoop it out. And most of this isn't seeds. Most of it's just pulp and whatnot. So, now that I have that, I need to get the garden hose out and hose them off good. I need to get the garden hose out and, and uh, wash those seeds pretty well. I'm going to get a bucket though to put them in instead of that bowl. I don't have any small buckets that I see, so I'll just get the buckets I do have. I just used in wood chips. But I'll rinse it out. Not that big a deal. I just got me a bucket. I'm just going to rinse it out. Um. <laughs> A little bigger of a bucket than I need, but it's going to work just fine. This isn't rocket science. All you're doing is saving seeds, you know. I might be able to do it in this bowl. I'm going to try it in there first. So what I usually do, especially squash or pumpkin or whatever, you know, they're all about the same. Cantaloupe, watermelon, seeds are a little different, but it's all the same principle. Um, I just put water in there and mush it around a little bit, kind of like squeeze the, just squeeze the pulp, and you can see the seeds popping out of it. I don't, I don't know how many seeds I'll end up getting, but it's going to be a lot. Are the seeds going to be good? Most of them will. Some probably not. Um, but they're going to. It's going to work good enough. It's not like I'm selling the seeds to 
Johnny's or somebody, you know, these are these are Dale's seeds, so to speak. Um, there's no reason why most of these aren't going to germinate just fine. And you only need one or two. Truthfully, all you need is one or two good seeds for zucchini. This zucchini plant, this one came off of, I know, I know we got, and I'm not even exaggerating, I know we got 40 or 50 zucchinis off of it. And it, and the uh, squash bugs didn't even bother it at all. I mean, this, this plant did so good for us that when I seen that, actually, I got another one just like that, too. So I don't know if I'll, if I'll uh, save the seeds out of it or not. I may. But there's a pretty good chance that I won't because this is going to be more than enough seeds for what I need. Um more than enough seeds. I'm going to rinse my hands a little bit. Just keep working it. And most of that's already off. So now, I do need a bigger bowl, but I do need a bigger bowl, but I'm going to try to drain some of the water out of it. <clears throat> if you watch, I'm trying to keep the pulp in there and let the seeds come out. I'm going to lose some of the pulp, but not lose, but some of the pulp's going to go in the bucket. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing good enough. Okay. And just fill it up and squirt more out of it. You get big pieces like that, and I'll just pull that out by hand and throw it over there. So this, this, when I'm done here, this is one of the chickens, anyways, not the seeds, the, the goop. And if I lose some seeds to the chickens, it's not that big a deal. It really isn't. Like I said, I got way more here than I'll ever use. And there are some seeds in that pulp that I'm throwing over there, but that's quite fine. Look at all the seeds on my hand there. This here is one of the skills that we all should know. Because this here could mean the difference of growing something or not growing something. And not only that, these seeds being grown in my garden, they know how I take care of them. You know what I mean? They, the, the genetics, not necessarily next season. But in a few seasons, in a few generations, these seeds will grow better here than any other seed, zucchini seed, that I could grow. Just because they're adapted to our climate. I'm not saying they wouldn't grow for somebody else. I'm sure they would grow just fine for somebody else. But the seeds that you save grow better on your property 
than the seeds that you buy. Just because of the genetics are, are in there to grow here. And there is a lot of seeds in there. A lot of pulp in there too, but there is a lot of seeds. A lot of them smaller seeds, I'm not really worried about it. The chickens can eat them. And they will, too. I want the big seeds. The ones that I know is going to germ. Um, of course, I'm sure some of them little ones will. But them bigger ones is the, the main ones that you want. And I'll do this four or five times. However many times it takes to get most of the seeds out and the pulp separated. So, um, I have a bunch more videos that I've been wanting to do. Alrighty, so it's a little change of scenery. I'm in the house now. I've got the worst of it done. i got a fair many seeds in this bowl, and i got a strainer. I'm just going to dump it in there. And for this, you don't want hot water nor cold water, so I'm just going to turn both of them about halfway on. Pull the sleeve up. That's about what you want. It's about, I don't know what the temperature is, but it's not cold or hot. Now you can just work them out. These are just like pumpkin seeds, though, pretty much. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever saved pumpkin seeds. But ain't a whole lot of difference. You should ferment them. By that, I mean let them in a glass of water, bowl of water, whatever, submerged, and then every couple of days rinse the rail every day or so, rinse the water off and change it. These I'm not going to. I'm just going to lay them out on the plate. There's still a fair bit of pulp in there. I can't seem to get it out for some deep reason. Them seeds there is all broke or cut up or broke or whatever, so I'll just throw that whole thing in the chicken feed. And I'm sure there'll be more like that once I once I get them all clean. But that's pretty much pretty much all there is too of saving these seeds. So, like I said, you. You should ferment them just like you would tomato seeds or whatever by letting them in a bowl. And it'll it'll what it'll do is it'll take all that all that pulp and that slimy coating that's on the seed. And it, that, when it ferments when it ferments it'll it'll take that out of it. But I'm not going to do that to these. I've never have done that to zucchini. I, do, I did do it to some uh, pumpkins. It definitely does clean them better. But for what I'm going to do with these, this right here is good enough. I'm going to put the water in this bowl. To 
get the gist or not, that's a lot of seeds. And that's probably only, honestly, that's probably only half of the seeds. Probably only half the seeds that was in that zucchini. Some of those are pretty small, some of them's cut. I'll, I'll probably lose another 10% of them to um, being too small. I'm going to reach in this cupboard and get a plate out. I'll try to get the water out the best I can. I'll put it back in this, I guess. Until they dry. <clears throat> So put them on a the plate and I'll just spread them out like that and let them dry out good. Um, so I'll come back to these in a few days and move them around a little bit, take out any of the bad pieces that I see. And that's going to pretty much be it, but that, that's a lot of zucchini seeds. And like I say, you only need two or three of those. Two or three of them seeds is all a person needs to uh, get a good crop of zucchini. Um, you need two or three plants, that's, that's more than enough for a family. Two, two or three zucchini plants is way more than what a family of three or four is going to ever eat in a, in a summer. So. Um, it's going to wrap this up. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, until we meet again, take care and God bless.